Hello, my crafty friends. My name is Denise Becker, and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from sunny Florida. I apologize for my voice. I've been uh, battling bronchitis and an ear infection this week, and uh, still hasn't gone away completely. It's better, but um, I did call my doctor, and he put me on another round of antibiotics, so <laughs> miserable. But anyway, um, I wanted to make, uh, I did make uh, two more cards from the earth earthen textures um st stamp set and uh i really like this uh this style i saw a demonstrator um she just took her um outer layer which i'll give you all the measurements but this would be three and three quarters by five the front layer and she just cut it on a diagonal didn't measure it just cut it on a diagonal and used half on the front and half on the uh, inside. And I thought that was so pretty. I really like this. Or you could uh, maybe not cut it so, you know, big up here, and make it the cut, you know, lower and leave a space in between here and then, you know, cut some, cut some of this off and put the other half up top. I embossed the top half of this just to give it a little, because this is all about textures. This is earthen textures. That's what it's all about. The more textures, the better, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and the colors are beautiful. So, yeah, so I made a birthday card um, with this one, and uh, just to think of you smiles across the miles and uh, inside of that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. <coughs> <clears throat> and decorated the envelopes like that. So, uh, I wanted to make a, uh, <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'll let me take a drink. <clears throat> I really am doing better. <laughs> oh, okay. I wanted to make a, um, a bag to, uh, you know, to put uh, like six cards, at least six cards in. And I didn't make one last night, but I made so many mistakes on it. I scored it in the wrong spot and put the uh, closure on. Uh, I didn't put it on when I was supposed to. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not. I, I, I probably could. I would have confused you more. This is such an easy bag to make. But the way I showed it, I would have confused the heck out of you. So I wanted to do it again. And I just I love it. And this is perfect for holding it, at least six cards easily. And it's too, or or you could put anything else in it, and I just think it's cute. And I used the uh, designer series paper from the uh, Earthen Texture Suite and um, um, pretty peacock cardstock. So the back it's half cardstock, and then the front is uh, designer series paper. So I'll show you all exactly how to do it. It's very simple, and I think it's just adorable. And uh, I've got four cards made. Um, it's I'm just everything is I'm in slow motion, but uh, I want to get at least six cards made as a gift. So this piece of um, I'm using pretty peacock, and <clears throat> this is uh, eleven by eight. So you just take off uh, a half an inch on the eight eight and a half inch side, and you're going to put it on the eleven inch side, and you're going to score at one half. I'm going to try not to talk too much because that's when the coughing starts. One half. Two and one half. Eight and a half. And ten and a half. Okay. And then we're going to turn it to the eight inch side. And we're going to score at two. And three. Okay. We're going to come back to the 11 inch side. And in this, uh, here's your, uh, here's our glue tab. This is going to be one of the sides. This is the back of the bag, the, the uh, um, base of the back of the bag. And here's the other side. And here's another glue tab that we're going to attach everything. So in this, uh, one of the, this first side, this two inch piece right here, we're going to score at one and a half down to the first score line. That's going to make one of the sides, okay? So at one and a half, score down to the first score line. And then we're going to come over to the other side 
and this will be uh, nine and a half, nine and a half, and we're gonna score down to the first score line, and that makes the other side, okay? And then we're gonna do some, have to do some cutting. And then there's another little piece, uh, actually there's a couple more, but this makes the base of the um, front of the bag. So this is uh, six by two and a half, and on the two and a half inch side, score at two, because we're gonna attach this to the, um, this is the designer series paper I'm using, and this is gonna be the base, so we're gonna attach that to that. So that's just scored at uh, half an inch. Six by two and a half scored on the uh, two and a half inch side at two, okay? And let's see, what else do we need? Okay, and this is the um, closure. Now, I'm not using the same uh, closure. Uh, that it's uh, a lady, I saw it on Pinterest, Terry Stampin' Magic. And she just called, she used the Hydrangea Haven, which is no longer available. Uh, stamp set and made a it's just called hydrangea haven fold flat gift bag and uh, I just took a five by five inch square scored it at two and a half and then I um I put a little pencil mark down at this I don't think I need this anymore no I don't let me get rid of this oh yeah I do but not for I just need the stylus but anyway um I uh, put a pencil mark down at the two and a half inch um, in the front and I use my um, what do they call basic border dies and I used <coughs> excuse me this die right here and I just put it at that two and a half inch mark and then just ran it through my die cut machine to get this effect um, yeah I, I kind of liked it's a little bit bigger than Terry's and I kind of liked it a little bit I wanted it a little bit bigger, but it doesn't matter. It, hers is very pretty anyway. And then I uh, embossed it just to give it some, you see, I think it looks nicer embossed. You see that up there? Can you tell? And on the back, I think it looks nicer when it's embossed. Uh, I used my uh, quarter, quarter foil tile embossing folder and uh, really nice one because I think this, this stamp set has like a Mediterranean look to it, and I thought that that um, embossing folder did as well. Oh, I need this, what am I doing? Okay, now, <coughs> and then we're gonna need a nine inch piece of ribbon. <coughs> now, um, make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, we need to make uh, some score marks on here where the this on the side pieces where we made that partial score mark in this little rectangle don't worry about the the glue tab over here this half inch glue tab just just this rectangle right here right underneath can you all see this rectangle right here we need to score this one and over here on the other side don't worry about the tab just just this one rectangle and we're gonna take um, I'm going to take my metal ruler and put this in the corner, and I'm going to score right up to that partial score line. Just do it a couple times, give a good impression, because this will fall flat, okay? And the same thing over here. We're going to start at the, well, now I'm going to start up here and go down to the corner of that rectangle and just do it two or three times something like that okay and that's gonna make it fold flat a lot easier and neater and then I'm gonna come over here and y'all see <coughs> excuse me and we're gonna score from this corner up to that partial score line same thing very simple and cute little bag and it doesn't have to be for just for cards it can use you can use it for anything okay let me see let me turn this so it's easier for me to get there we go um yeah i'm gonna put my stylus in the corner and line that up over here okay and just score there we go very simple and i think I've scored everything, yep. Okay, let me put this away before I lose it. 
Okay, so <clears throat> we've got to do some cutting on here. These two rectangles on the uh, outer corners, this one and this one, we need to get rid of completely. So I'm just going to cut straight up to the first score line, and then I'm going to come in on the side and make an angle cut right there because we're going to attach everything, and, and by making that little angle cut, it won't hang over. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Cut straight up and make a little angle cut. And we're going to make a little angle cut up here at the top of this half inch score line right there. Just so when we put it together, it won't um, hang over. Okay. There we go. And we're also on the base of the front. We need to, on that half inch score line, we need to make a little angle cut too. Okay. Just makes it neater when you fold it up. Okay. <coughs> Usually I burnish before I cut, but I don't know. Okay, so let me go ahead and, uh, oh, sorry. I've got to cut. Um, I've got to cut this tab up and this tab up. I'm going to remove the score line. Actually, I'm going to turn it over so I can see the score line. You see that bumpy part right there? I'm going to remove the score line, cut straight up to the first score line. Okay. And same thing over here. Just remove that score line, cut up to the first score line. And then we're gonna, we need to make a little tap up, cut a little slant over here. We're basically just removing the score line, but it'll prevent it from hanging over. And cut a little slant on this side as well. Okay. And same thing over here. Just cut a little slant. Uh, <coughs> I sound horrible, I know. I've been taking cold medicine, but uh, it lasts about two or three hours and then it wears right off. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> Let me just take a drink. Okay, now we can go ahead and burnish this where we've cut it. Scored it and cut it. Let's go ahead and burnish everything. Okay. Not this, let's see. This is a fold. This gets folded. No, don't even worry about it. You really should probably fold this back this way because that's how it's going to fold when we fold it flat. Don't worry about it, though. If you want to just fold it up the same way, it's okay. Okay. And then we're going to come over here. And burnish this. And this little side tab, uh, glue tab. Okay. Yeah, I usually, I don't know why I, uh, <laughs> I usually cut first, uh, burnish first and then cut, but I don't know. Okay, now on these little, these little, uh, where we have the partial score, we need to make, this is the front, this is the front. We need to make a, a valley, little valley fold. So you're just going to kind of pinch it, pinch it down to that score line. Is that straight? This looks straight up. I, I scored that right. And then where the little triangles are, see, they just kind of, you can just kind of fold them off to the side like that. Just pinch it. That doesn't look straight. Mm -mm. Okay, same thing over here. And where the little triangle is, just press it down. You could burnish it, but I don't, it's not necessary. Okay, so that's the inside of the bag now. 
And what we have to do to this, just set this aside for a minute. We need to attach the base of the front, front of the bag. We need, this is the base to the front of the bag. This six by six piece of uh, designer series paper. And this is two and a half by six. So we need to attach that just like that, even as we can. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. I love this uh, paper. So pretty. I think I'm probably just not, I'm not going to decorate the bag. I'm probably just going to make a tag, a nice tag with a vase on it or something. Make a big tag. That's it. So there's our front of the bag. Okay. Uh, give that a good burnish. So it's nice and stuck. Okay. Now we need to attach this to our bag. Okay. So here is the front. And what we're going to do is come over here. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Okay. And what we're going to do is line up, make sure it's, yeah, it's lining up. Make sure these score lines, especially at the bottom, are lined up. The top, you can always trim if it's not quite even, but you want to make sure that these bottom, otherwise your bag won't fold right. Yeah, I see I'm going to have to make a little trim right up there, but that's no big deal. It's just a little snip. But most important thing is to line up the bottom so your bag will close right. Okay? Uh, <coughs> so just line that up right up to the score line. Don't go over, just right up to it. There we go. Make sure that's perfectly even down there. Yeah, I have to snip it up there, but that's nothing. There we go. That looks pretty good. That's lined up nice. Okay. And then, just, actually, I kind of, I found it easier to just turn it over and uh, upside down and then take this and bring it over and line it up and see it just lines up perfectly perfect it's nice and flat lines up with the score line lines up with the, it's my it's off just a hair not even an eighth of an inch but it, that's nothing so we're just going to put glue on this glue tab this is a deconstructed bag which i like to make okay there we go. That's it. Oh no, oh, I did it again. Oh my God. Uh, I wonder if I can pull that up. Yes, I can. Um, yeah, I did it again. I did the first time I messed up too. I have to put the flap on, the closure on first. So yeah, don't do that. Now what I did, and Terry did the same thing. She used the smaller uh, hole on her crocodile. And where this fold line is, she, um, punch the hole like um straddle the score lines where half of the circle is the the hole is uh on one side of the score line and it's almost there it doesn't that really matter i mean we're i'm get, getting as close as i can the hole is um on one side half of it's on one side of the score line half of it's on the other that's a good way to hide your ribbon. I can't believe I did that again. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, before you put it together, you, you put your your um, <coughs> closure on. And then from the front, I'm going to bring this in, this ribbon, to the back. And we're going to attach it. First, I'm going to try to get it nice and straight so it's not crooked. Okay, and I think that's right. I'll check it once I get it in there. Yeah, from the front, go through the back, through that little hole you just punched. And let me make sure this is straight, this ribbon. You don't want it all twisted and twisting around. That looks pretty good. Let me see. Is it straight? 
You know, I can never tell, tell you the truth. I have a heart. It looks like it's perfectly straight, and then I put it together, and I'm like, <laughs> well, that's all twisted. <coughs> there. That looks pretty good. That looks right to me. Okay. Let me just get that out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, don't forget to put your closure on first. And I'm going to use, um, instead of hot glue this time, and I do not like to tear, tear, tear and tape. <laughs> I don't like to tear it. I cut it. I don't know why. I just I can't get it even. Okay, so I'm going to put like a couple of pieces, two or three. You, she put three. I don't know if you need three pieces, but just to attach this. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, attach um, this little piece of ribbon to. <coughs> I could bring it down a little bit. Let me see underneath that score line I'm attaching this okay <clears throat> you make sure it's straight okay let me make sure that looks good yep that's that's crooked that looks crooked I think I moved it Just turn it around. Twist the ribbon around to get it straight. Is that straight? No, that does not look straight. Now I really messed it up. I sure did. Let me turn this completely around. Oh. Okay. Now that looks straight. Is that straight? <laughs> I wish somebody was here to tell me. Yet, yeah, no, it's not straight. Don't do it. <coughs> nope. I think I've completely turned the darn thing around completely. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm not in frame. I'm just trying to get this ribbon from being all twisted up. That looks fine. Okay. That looks fine. And now. Let me remove the backing. Don't use your bone folder. You know, usually, I mean, usually it's a good idea to use your bone folder on um, double-sided tape, but you'll mess up the embossing pattern. So I'm just going to remove this. Oh, come on. Okay, and then I'm just going to put this down flat okay yeah this works better than hot glue because hot glue leaves a bump like a bump in there you can see it this is much better <coughs> okay let me put that down flat yeah I like this a lot better okay and now we can take oh I left that un plugged uh take our glue and go all around right over the ribbon all the way around that, that's the back and really give it some uh, glue because uh, first of all it's embossed and we want those ribbons to stay go pretty much up to the score line yeah I want that nice and gluey okay and um, I'm gonna use my this is uh, yeah that's the uh, inside okay so what I'm gonna do is use my uh, grid paper up here and hold on I want to put let's see I'm just concentrating on the the, the very the, this would be the back of the bag, but I put, I'm put i putting the, um, the uh, closure. It's going to be on the back and then fold folds over, so I want this to be straight. So I'm just using my grid paper to try to line this area. I want there's, yeah, two squares on this side and two squares on that side. I'm just trying to match it up and go right up to that square line so it's nice and even. 
There we go. Okay, there we go. And that'll come right over. It's, uh, it, it's you know, when you emboss it, the texture's different. But that's it. Yeah. You want to make sure you put that on first. It's much easier, and you get a much better um, um, adhesion. I had a, a tougher time when I, because I forgot. So... And what did I do here? Okay, so let's get that out of the way. And we're just going to... Now I'm going to have to put more glue on this. But thank goodness I remembered. Oh. I mean, it worked. It's very easy. You know, you don't... You know, it's not, not the end of the world if you forget. It was easy enough to put on, but this is much easier. And let me line that up. There we go. Nice and straight. There we go. Up, oh, I got a little glue up there. Okay. Yes, there we go. There we go. Now that's much, much better. Yeah, that's much easier if you put that on first before you attach the bag. But that's it. That's how. And then we're just going to put the base together. Now, this is the front, front of the bag, of course. So I'm bringing, I'm going to put this out of the way because this is the last tab to go down. I want the back to come in first. And we're going to put glue on these tabs. Side tabs. And just put that down. Yep. That looks good. More glue over here. go and now we're going to put glue on the front all the way up almost to the edge uh, such an easy little bag to make and perfect perfect for cards okay and now I'm just going to fold this over, and this folds over so nice and square and straight. Yep. Very nice little bag. Terry did great on this one, I'll tell you. Her measurements are spot on. Okay. And I'm going to use my... Um, <coughs> ruler and go down in here and just give that a good press. So we know it's nice and stuck. Okay, I'm, I see I'm off a little bit. You can see that, but you know what? So what? I could actually put a little circle over that and score it in half and cover that up. But, uh, you know, I, could, I probably will do that, actually. It'll probably bug me, so, and I'll end up doing it. I'll just take like a half-inch circle punch and score it in half and cover that up. Maybe. We'll see. But this is a full flat. Now, you probably should wait until it's completely dry. But let me see. Get that lined up. And just gently, gently, just use your fingers. And come down to where this fold line is. Now, why is this? Yeah, you know, don't do it when it's wet. It's really, it's really much better to wait. It's folding. It's folding flat, but I'm not going to even force it. I'm not going to force it because it's not a good thing to do. <laughs> is that, why is that off a little bit? You know, I thought it looked a little. Yeah, I'm not going to force it because it, it'll just, it'll ruin it if I do that. I'm going to go ahead and just put the, um, Oh, Velcro dots. And Terry just put hers on like this. And two of them. And use Velcro. Don't don't use the cheaper brand. The Velcro works the best. It really holds. Okay. Put the I 
don't know what you call that piece. I always put that rough piece and then this puffy piece on top and then I just, it's got adhesive on the back. <coughs> I don't know what it's called. One of them's called a hook and I don't know what the other one's called. Just join them and get them, get the sides nice and straight and press it down. Just make sure it's straight. Yeah, that's it. And then lift it up carefully. I don't think I got that on there straight. <coughs> uh, anyway, press these down really, really good. And then I hope I got this straight. I think I was off on this. I think I did something, uh, I don't know. No, that's straight. Okay, maybe it's okay. Yeah, don't don't try to force it when it's wet, when to try to fold it flat. You, you, you'll mess it up. <laughs> I've done it many times, but that's it. And then I'm just gonna make a tag and uh, put at least six cards in there. And I think the back is pretty too. Just that embossed. That's all it is, just embossed. So there it is, y'all. Back to put my cards in as a gift, or you could put anything you want in it. Very simple to make, and I'll leave all the measurements in Terry's. Um, it's on Pinterest, but she has a video, so you can watch it. So, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate your support, and and uh, I've got uh, I've ordered in case anyone um, I have had an order. Uh, to get um, the um, take your pick tool and the uh, foam mat and the brush and it's on order so it's coming in so if you place a $50 order during the month of uh, was May and June um, I've got uh, these on order for you so that's a $23 value and I'm telling you this is a very very good tool and it's got the putty thing putty it's it, I can't craft without it so I've got them on order so Hang in there. It's coming. So, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.